Yo. What's, What's happening? I'm just taking videos of taking videos of people. Yo, you in the show yet? More chocolate. More chocolate. <laughs> so let's see. It's good vibes. I like seeing people wear Kings jerseys. The Kings are actually good. I know Laker fans are going to bash me here. The Kings haven't been good since Kevin Martin and the Kings played in the playoffs versus the Spurs in like 06, 07 or 05, 06. The Kings have been terrible since that day, since that time. And then the Kings were really good in the early 2000s and 2002, obviously. Also, game six of 2002 was rigged. I just want to say that. You wouldn't want to call it 500 total with the, with the love in there? 525. 520? I'm just kidding. 525 is good. I wanted to... See. I was trying to throw him that $5 curveball. I couldn't do it with a straight face. So he picked up a bunch of rookies, uh, some value slabs, and then there's this is loaded with slabs, and then this is the main pickup to add on. Jordan Love, 2020 impeccable rookie jersey auto. Someone had a set in a binder, and I was flipping through the binder, and there was something that was in between the pages. This is from uh, Manning's rookie year. It's 98. So, I mean, it has a value of probably between like 10 and $20, but it's kind of cool, nothing I've ever seen before. All right, did you total this out? Yeah, I got you. Oh, he totaled it out already. So this is some heavy heat. We got a John Elway, Tom Glavin, Tony Romo, oh, Mike Trout game used auto, Mickey Mantle one, Vince Carter green auto, Koufax rookie, Bo Jackson out of 10, Bo Jackson out of 10, Bo Jackson out of 25. 90, 135. 145, 275, 550, 340 a piece. So what is it, well centered? It's just nice. The color's there. It is not like crazy creasing or anything like that. You got like one that kind of goes across the space, but for a 1.5, like nothing on the back either. You know, a lot of them are roached out, but the fact that it's got a thin little crease, that, that's, what, that's what kept it. But Yeah. How much is the, what's the lowest you take on that Jordan? Lowest? Yeah. I do 2K. I do 360 on it. They put like 400. Can you be at 350? So what does that put us at? 350 plus, what was it, 2650? 3,000. Even. Even. Love it when a good plan works. That's good. This was the. This was what sealed the deal. Fear no one, Bo Jackson. Why Three kids. Alright, let's get your paid out. How much you ask on the Luka Origins? Uh, 3,200 best offer. That's rookie year. I was going to say that is rookie year. What about these two AIs? That's one of one. I'm asking 1400 best offer. That's gold. I'm asking uh, 350 best offer. And the Dwayne Dwayne Noir? 480. What about that Bill Russell? I'm asking 750 or best offer. That's out of 25. I'm asking 300. That's what. You take two on the D Rose? I paid more than that for being honest with you. Yeah, what, what, what's your best offer? How about this shack of the 13? I'm asking 450 or best offer. I mean, we spent two days trying to find that card anywhere ever listed, anywhere ever sold on every app. Can I look at the shack and the D Rose? Yeah, of course. They said that this is super rare now, so now I want it. Let's do the deal for yeah, the 630. Thank you very much, yeah. bro. Thank you. All right, so we picked up the Derrick Rose Bowman Chrome rookie auto legend. And then you guys said this card's not really found, this shack. Flawless Team USA. Still sealed. Still sealed out of 25. With the jersey inscription of the 13 from That's Team USA. That's why I like it too. Yep. You're never really, you're not really gonna see this. There's only two Vic and nine fives. That's the only PSA 10 10. I just hit that yesterday. So did you buy the card raw? No, it's actually it was in a 9 5 holder and I crossed it. So when you cross it, for just so I'm curious, so people can learn. Do you take it out of the slab or you just send it to the PSA and the BGS slab and you see if they can cross it? It just depends. I mean, the problem with taking it out of the slab is just, it's a gamble. Unfortunately, we've seen stuff that's went on in the hobby before where people's taking stuff out of slabs and then try to get it re-slabbed and all of a sudden there was a problem with it. You know what I mean? So problems arise, you know what I'm saying? So you just gotta be real, just be careful. You gotta be real careful. Yeah, it's a beautiful card. Thank you, I appreciate it, sir. Big. Thank you. So PSA 1010 is better for you, obviously. People prefer a 1010 over a BGS 95 with 10 on it. Obviously, right? This card would sell more than a BGS 10. That's worth. This is worth more than a BGS 10. For sure. Oh, for sure. 
for sure. Good to know. I did not know for sure. Not in all realms, but just because, because of what it is. Yeah, and it's an on-card autograph. And it's this is the last year of Upper Decks licensing too. I didn't know that. Yeah, so this uh, 09 was the last year of Upper Decks licensing, and this is the Gowdy product. This was the hit in the product. This and the Tiger Woods are like super, super, super short, but impossible to get. I would get. say it's probably like that LeBron James that you pull from the Space Jam. Yes, it's exactly. Like crazy, yeah. never see him. Little Steph Curry, nice little slab mag orange, looks yeah, good. It looks gorgeous. And it's, uh, it says Chef Curry on there. Sick. How much is this? Uh, that one asked me four and a half. That's so sick. How much is that trout? So I haven't found comps on it. It's, it's, only, it's Yeah, so this one I was around like four. 10-10 on a thick heart. Really nice batch. Super. Unbelievable. Look at that. 10 10 on a thick heart is so tough. It's crazy. Are you guys on Instagram? Uh yeah. What's yours? Uh card corner? What is it? The card corner? The card corner and what was yours? Harari cards. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. This is one of one. I know it's a different product, but that's where I gotta be at. Is it a there. one of one? Oh, it's yes, sir. And what about that Ronald Reagan? Ronald Reagan. I want to mess with it. What? I want to mess with it. It's about a eight twenty five, but it's a book cover. So it's got the uh, it's got the seal on the back, but again, it's a book cover. So. So uh, sick. Top J. I like I like stuff like uh, you know like Top Gilded Benjamin Harrison one on one. All my good president cut stuff is in the safe, but you know I'll, I'll run a few few yeah. of them. What about this uh, Bernie Mac? Uh, 150. You know, Ocean's 11. Kind of cool. You take 120 on it? Pay 125. Take 140. Let's do it. Please. Bernie Mac and Elliot Gold. Sheesh. Five dollar cards. This one's cool. Alfred Morris was good. I know. Patch is dirty. Pretty cheap stuff. Listen, I like these patches and MPJ. He choked Zach Collins last night. Him and or Zach Collins choked him last night. Not joking. Okay, that's forty. Yep. Okay. Um, I believe that most of the time you're getting a really good deal. Uh, I'm throwing these in. I feel it's a good deal. If it's not like the greatest thing for you, maybe we take something out. But I'd like to do seventy for all. So we're at forty. I'm gonna show you one by one. We're at forty. Uh, he collects. I'll buy this all day. Chris Shaw. This is the one that's a This guy owes me a bat. 172. So it'd be 230. How about 220? 170? 170 there. 260. It's a deal. It's so easy. I saw what you grabbed. I was like, yeah. 260. That's good. Kyrie, BGS 10 rookie. Jake Berger. Chris Shaw. Used to watch him in the River Cats. Evan Longoria. Calvin Austin, Blake Bortles, Pat Fryermuth, Alfred Morris, Paul Richardson, CJ Spiller, Giovanni Bernard, Porter, Rookie, Herbert, Mariano Rivera, Legend, James Harden. It's a deal. There you go. Flipping this coin right here. Is that the hole? All right, so what's the flip? What's the call? What are we doing? Are you calling? Yeah. Yes. And for how much? 27 if I win, 28 if he wins. You want me to catch it in the hand and put it down? Do whatever you want. All right, we'll let it land on I'll the catch floor. it in the air. Go. Let it lay. All right, tell, uh, you're going to call in the air? Yep. All right, tell me when you're ready. Go. All right, good luck. Call in the air. Heads. Heads. This guy collects. Huh? He breaks yeah, cards. Yeah. Shut up, Blake. Blake's breaks. Ooh, hoo, hoo, you're hitting the, hiding yeah. the good stuff. Hey, shout out to Full Kings for that one. Yeah. Oh, you pulled it. People would line up for this. You know what it sounds like to me? It sounds like 2020 Prism at Walmart. Uh, right. No, I'm just kidding. You could buy packs at like the ballpark. Like you're, if you were playing ball, that's what you got. Oh. You know. Or you know, like a candy shop. I believe that. Like in the 80s. Or the gas station. Gas station. If you're watching this, yeah. I want you to describe your first pack of cards, what it was like. Like, what did you feel? Like, what went down? And when was it? Because uh, it's just, it's it brings you back. You never forget that first pack. I don't think I could ever give this up. I know people that have made 50 million and can't give it up. 
What do you think keeps us in? I think it's the hustle. I don't know. And like, Why do I go to yard sales? I don't know. I think the hustle. You know what I mean? The deal, getting the deal. I'm talking the business side of things. I yeah. think I think that idea of getting the deal. Yeah. And just you like have to get it. You don't care if you sell the deal. Yeah. You just have to buy it. That's me, at least. And I think like I, I could. I have so much crap because I just bought it because I had to. Yeah. Like I needed to feel like I won. And I think yeah. I got to that feeling of winning. What went down with like junk wax? Like what what was the deal with that? Like why was it so um, cheap? I guess like what were people thinking during that time? Did they think like oh this is gonna be worth like a lot of yeah. money? Yeah, but they produced so much of it. It took it took a while for it to catch on. I mean, I used to work for a uh, company that supplied QBC, HSN, and shopping home with packages. We sell packages, 150 pound packages, of wax boxes, traded sets, wax packs. We opened up tractor and trailer loads of boxes just making pack lots, 3,200 count box pack lots. We run them out on TV at 149, I believe it was. Back then. I think I had 6,000 1987 Tops Berry Bonds when they were five. They were five dollars yeah. a piece. We bought five. them all, sold them on television. Wow. I, I bought them all for a dollar twenty-five, sold them to them for two seventy-five a piece. I banked, and all I did was drive to Memphis, Chattanooga, and back to my house in one day. So I had a kid walk up at the '93 Nationals in St. Louis at our table and says, "Are you buying Griffey rookies?" Yeah. He flips the lid off, there's 3,089 Upper Deck King Griffey Jr. How did he get that? His daddy was the president of Upper Deck. Yeah. Wow. Oh, and, and, and what that What a set. freaking remember, story, remember man. Remember they messed up on that set and they sent out they sent out uh, complete sets with just the Griffey in them yeah. that they ah. had printed where you could buy all six all 690 cards were with a Griffey. I bought one of them one time that, and sold them to one of his friends. That's when I quit opening boxes back then. Did you yeah. buy the box off the kid? Yeah, we did. Third, I think we paid him 30 bucks a piece. Why should I buy it? Barry Bonds room. Yeah. Who's that? Barry Bonds. One of the best players ever. One of the best players in ever. In 1987, he does, everybody knew this, who he, he was He does already. deserve to be in the Hall of Fame. Dude, I love this. I am not, I'm, I'm grew up in Northern California. Barry Bonds is one of my He's, favorite players. Hey, Barry Bonds a Hall of Famer. Too. 600 on the scene. Take 350? No. What's your bottom? Normally, I'd say throw out a price, but you see, you beat me in that game to go way up. I, 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 I threw it out. I'd take five. Okay. And what about that uh, Messi? Uh, two. Two K. Number to it's, five. It's all the Barcelona. I mean, yeah. technically, Fati is the future, so it's all the logos. That's pretty cool. Man, it's a really cool card. None, none have ever sold. I've had it for about a year or How, so. How's the show going, man? We're March, really good. March 2023, what's the vibe? What do you think? Uh, the vibe, since the last Dallas show, is totally different than it was. We had those three months where no one was spending any money. Now people are spending money again. It's people good. are spending money. Yeah. That's cool, man. That stuff is flowing. That's kind of an interesting card. Jordan Love and Aaron Rodgers. And, and Talk about not passing the torch. Color match? Yeah, it's the opposite. Color match, even if he goes to the Jets? Even if he goes to the Jets, color match. How about, how about this Gretzky? Uh, 3,500. How about this? 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. There's 24 autographs. How much on that? None of those are sold yet. I'm asking five. Okay. If I, I would, just want the Anthony Volpe, can you cut it out? Let's see, so that would that be, yeah, I'll take care of it. It'd be, 20, it'd be the same price, but you can cut it. Don't Let's forget do to it. subscribe, like, comment, follow him exactly. on Instagram. We'll talk to you later. Peace.